what up you guys here's an update for today I got the bed done and uh, what I did was I got that cheap ass wood from um, I think I got it from Lowe's for like $9.95 for a 10 foot piece or 12 foot piece of one by I think it's one by ten and what I did was cut it in there put it in the bed um, I think as you can see from the last video if I posted that in the last video so I put it in the frames I made for the bed and uh, what I did was um, a couple guys uh, gave me some tips there on um, possibly like using steel wool to make the wood look old and everything so I did a lot of research and what I did last year was I ordered some epoxy resin and I'll show you guys that epoxy resin um, and I made a, a countertop in my house so what I did was with that cheap ass wood I took my torch and I burn it and I scuffed it one time with uh, Brillo and then I actually cleared it with that stuff and I'll show you guys how it came out I really love it man so here's a here's my little test piece I had So I did three different burn depths on it. This one was just real light. This one was medium, and obviously that one was dark. And all these, what I did was took the smoothest uh, Brillo pad I could I could get and uh, just scuffed them once, once back and forth, back and forth. If you scuff them a lot, that's what it comes out like. So let me see. A, I'll get a board here and I'll show you guys what it looked like before I started messing with it. So there's how it was before and then this is the test piece here after and then also whatever you do like if you see this or see this right now when it gets wet if you put a clear over it or anything it gets way darker so just keep that in mind when you're doing it like I said I just took the torch made the bed frames laid this in there I took the torch and just went back and forth even rows and then I scuffed it right after and then I wiped it down with um actually Windex just use Windex and uh, I wiped it down, cleaned it off, so none of that soot would like uh, get in that epoxy clear coat. So then here's the epoxy. I researched this, uh, well maybe it was two years ago when I was looking to do a, a little countertop in my house and this is what I found. Um, and this is it, US Composites, they're out of Florida. And I wanna say I paid 50 or 60 bucks for both of these. And man, I mean, I did already a whole like bar top in the house and then um, just this bed and that bed was huge. So what I'm gonna do is the floors in the truck, I'm gonna do the exact same way. I'm gonna use that in there. So you get quite a bit of it. You actually get two gallons when it's mixed. And uh, if anybody has any questions on how to use that, I'm pretty versed in it now. <laughs> so let me show you guys the bed here. This is how it came out. That's it right there. get a real good view of it but so that's it really really came out good and what I'm gonna do is uh, put my two hinges on there um, and then put my my latch holder on there and then my two latches and this will be pretty much buttoned up but I love it man so when I paint the truck and the and the trucks all shiny this this is gonna match perfect man and it just look at that look at that wood look at the difference let me see, I got my little piece here. So check out the difference. This is before and this is after. Big, 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 big difference. And that stuff, uh, that stuff I did in the house it's already you got I did this is only two coats of it and it's already uh, getting hard but this stuff if you give it like 24 hours once you're done with your final coat uh, it is so hard I've got a I've got a bar top in the house actually a bench that I sit on and uh, that stuff is so hard man you can't even cut that with a knife it's it's just indestructible So that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on that and uh, show you what's going on with that. And you can see, like, the more knots and stuff it has, the more character it has, you know? And 
And then you can get rid of like, see this seam right here? And then there's another, let's see, I got one more seam like right here. Uh, what you normally do, and I just did it in a hurry because it's for a car, it's not for a house, so I'm not really tripping about it. What you do is underneath here, you, you put a piece of tape and then you take the uh, an initial coat and you just brush it in there and let it soak down in just a little bit. Let that cure for four hours and then do your coats over it. And you can actually do that for everything. Just just brush the whole thing with one. It's called a, um, uh, it's, I can't remember what they call it, like an initial coat or something. And you just brush it all on there and let it set up. Let that sit for four hours and then it seals all those little holes. And then when you put your flood coat, it's called over it, your first one. It'll fill all that stuff in. Then you put another one, and it'll fill all that in. But like I said, this is for a car, so I just poured it all in there. I don't really care about little dips and stuff. It was cool to me. It serves my purpose. I haven't seen a lot of vehicles with that that in there. So what I'm going to do is the same exact thing. Get the same exact wood, just thinner. And I'm going to do my floors in here. So, so when I open my doors, it'll have the same floor in there. So when you look from here to here, it'll match. And I think that's going to be kick-ass. So that's it. Thanks for watching.